Late September, our Ones for Texas segment profiled John Seidel uh, on the right, a Frisco man who agreed to donate a kidney to Ken Cook, a man he had never met in person. Well, since then, that surgery happened. And this Thanksgiving, both men have a whole lot to be thankful for. Here's our Brooke Katz. I haven't felt this good in five years. A kidney transplant surgery in October has turned around Ken Cook's life. Ken and his wife live in Mississippi. John Seidel and his family live in Frisco. We did a Zoom call with the two a month after the surgery. There's never any doubt that, that this was worth it and that I wanted to do it, but it um, solidifies all of those feelings and all of those emotions. The families met in person for the first time the Monday before the surgery in Louisiana, shared a meal together, and then the transplant happened on Wednesday. Immediately after I woke up from the surgery, I had all kind of energy. It felt like I had literally died and went to heaven. The five years of waiting and kidney dialysis treatments were over. Ken, who had his legs amputated during that time and gets around the house in a wheelchair, immediately set his mind to his next goal. My next hurdle is to get my prosthetics going and, and get myself out of this wheelchair to where I can start walking. Right now, the families share a special bond because even the kidney has a name. John is a part of Kenneth. We named our kid, Kenneth's kidney, John John. So that's the new name of the, of the kidney. And John John is working. Seidel knows the life-changing impact kidney donation can have on a family. Having been on Ken and Deborah's side of things uh, for Thanksgiving, where we were so thankful for um, a kidney that my stepdad received, um, I can still say, though, that I'm thankful this Thanksgiving to be a part of their story. A story that will continue to be written this Thanksgiving and beyond. I have learned from you guys what it looks like to be thankful. No. Um, and what it looks like to have gratitude. And that's, that's humbling and um, something that I, 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 I'm going to keep and cherish and teach my kids as well. What a lesson. Besides learning to walk with the use of prosthetics, Mr. Cook tells us he looks forward to working in his yard and cooking in the kitchen again. John Seidel tells us that after the surgery, he tires a little bit easier, but he is starting to work out again and is back in a normal routine. Doug?